Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Pronounce Perfect English. Today, I'm going to show you how to pronounce this fancy word, which is Floxinosi Nihilipilification, or Floxinosi Nihilipilification. It's a multisyllabic word, 29 letters at a row. It's an 18th century coinage, and it combines four latin prefixes which are floxi nosi neli and pdf meaning nothing the whole word floxi nosi neli means the estimation of something as worthless or without any value it contains 12 syllables that are flock si no si ni he li pi Li, Fi, K, and Shin. To divide any word into syllables, it's all about the vowels you hear. Alright, and notes here carefully. I said the vowels you hear. It's about the vowels you hear. Whenever you hear a vowel, stop, that's a syllable. Now, regarding the stressed syllable in this word, it's easy to locate and identify simply because there is a rule which says, Every noun that ends in T-I-O-N termination, the shin sound, has its primary stress on the penultimate syllable, that is the syllable or the part which is just before this termination T-I-O-N, like here in this word, floxinosi nihilipilification. We can have other examples like uh, pronunciation, civilization. Information, the stress is in the last part before the T-I-O-N termination. All right. Now, as I said, this word has its primary stress in C-A-K, Floxinosinilipilification, so syllable number, let's say, uh, if you count them, you will find it syllable number uh, 11. So syllable number 11 is uh, the stressed syllable because, as I said, it contains uh, 12 syllables. All right, so let's practice it again. Floxinosi nihilipilification. We can also say floxinosi nihilipilification. Uh, the American way is uh, floxinosi nihilipilification and the British pronunciation is floxinosi nihilipilification. It has also a secondary stress as you see the little line which is at the very beginning floxy. This is we call it the secondary stress which is a little bit weaker and lighter than the primary stress. So again and again floxinosi nihilipilification or floxinosi nihilipilification. Now, can you think of an example sentence in which this word is used? Because if it is contextualized, it is going to be crystallized in the mind. Here are some examples. For example, this currency or this money is old or obsolete. It becomes floxinosi nihilipilification since no one could use it anywhere. Another example, his floxinosi nihilipilification of the new project caused the company huge loss, which means his worthless idea caused the company a huge loss. And another example, the pupil inserted the word floxinosi nihilipilification in his essay in order to impress his teacher. And uh, the last example, I am glad to present you this word of floxinosi nihilipilification in this video to learn and practice how it is perfectly pronounced. What do you think of this? Thanks and uh, goodbye.